This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Emma Hurley here with me. You're a dental hygienist and you're with the Rideau Community Health Services. Welcome to FYI. Yes. Hi. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Now, April is Oral Health Awareness Month, so I'm so glad we were able to make this connection. Uh, we've got a wonderful connection with Rideau Community Health Services. We have monthly interviews with you guys because you do so, so much. But today we're going to talk all about dental care. You're a dental hygienist. How long have you been doing that? Yes. So I've been a dental hygienist for about seven years now, and I've been with Rideau Community Health Services for just over a year okay. with the dental program. So, yeah. Okay. Now, how many locations has your dental program have? Uh, so right now we have four locations. Uh, so right now I'm at the Smith Falls site, uh, and that's at the Rideau Community Health Services Clinic. Uh, then we also have a location in Brockville at the Public Health Unit. Uh, then we also have partnerships with the uh, Connect Well in Lanark, um, as well as Country Roads in Westport. Okay, now uh, oral health care and, and taking care of your teeth is so, so important, but not everybody can afford it. And that's the, the clientele that you, you, you focus on. Exactly, yes. So we see um, there's two programs that we work with uh, that are both geared towards uh, lower income patients. So these are people that um, don't have other dental benefits um, and their income is within a certain bracket. So uh, there's one program that is for anyone that's over the age of 18 um, that follows all the rest of the eligibility criteria as well as the Ontario um, uh, seniors plan as well. Okay, now as a dental hygienist, what is the one thing uh, that, that is most significant that you see that people should be working a little bit harder on maybe <laughs> if that's a way to say it <laughs> yeah um definitely you know keeping up with brushing and flossing for sure um it's never too late to start flossing so get in there you know brushing twice a day flossing every day um and just getting to know your mouth um we also because it's you know um oral health month uh, another important part about going to the dentist is not just for cleanings and checkups but also um, for screening for oral cancer as well so and that's something that everyone can kind of do at home and you know there's lots of resources out there just to kind of you know show you how to do it and yeah all right now now you, you work strictly with adults yes yeah okay can you speak yeah. a little bit about maybe some suggestions for children how to get them to want to brush their teeth and get involved more with <laughs> that routine? yes so yeah it's making it fun honestly um so i have worked in private practice where we did have um you know lots of children patients uh as well as i have two uh toddlers of my own so <clears throat> yeah it's always uh, a big thing to do the teeth so uh, games making it as fun as you can all right all right now last year alone you you uh, had over uh 3200 dental appointments at your at your clinics and that's about 700 clients that's amazing yeah yeah it is it this program is so amazing like reaching out to people who may not have been able to see the dentist um you know have cleanings have um extractions of you know possibly abscessed teeth um so yeah this this program has been awesome for you know catching that missing link and and you know for anybody that's had a toothache but was worried that they couldn't call the dentist because they couldn't afford it but this is a program that would help that i mean toothaches yes. are awful yes yeah yeah and you know a lot of the time um if you do have a really bad toothache um you're in a lot of pain um you can't get to the dentist for whatever reason you know people are ending up in emergency rooms and so that's another perk of this program is just to kind of help keep people out of the emergency rooms who you know can be seen at the dental offices all right so now you offer checkups you've got you do x-rays you do fillings that sort of thing there yeah yeah okay. yeah so um it's like basic routine services so um so fillings um checkups x-rays extractions if need be um and then the hygienist will you know cleaning polishing um fluoride if they need it and yeah so, so do some people just come to see you then emma 
Yeah, yeah. So I mean, typically, so we it kind of runs the same as private practice. Um, so usually the patient will see the dentist for a new patient exam first, have all their x-rays done, um, come up with a treatment plan, and then they see the hygienist. Um, and they can see me anywhere between, you know, twice a year, if they need to, if um, there's a lot of inflammation or, or buildup or for whatever reason, um, you know, every four months, and then they stick with the dentist about once a year for checkup. Okay. Now we've, we talked about flossing and brushing your teeth and, and keeping up with that kind of uh, maintenance of your teeth, but can you speak a little bit about, you know, what you eat is important? <clears throat> Yeah, so definitely um, what you eat, like, of course, you want to keep a healthy diet, get all your nutrients, um, as well as, you know, avoiding the sugary um, food and drinks as well. Um, and, you know, if you are just making sure that you're not, um, you know, exposing the teeth to sugar all day long. <laughs> Of course, we're talking right the weekend after Easter, too. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> so everyone's got a little bit of extra chocolate today. Yep. That's okay, as long as it's, you know, not being eaten all day. That's right, that's right. Brush yeah. your teeth, but maybe one more time a day. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Now, how do people uh, get a, re do you, you need a referral? How do people get in to see you? Um, so what they do is they can go to our website. We actually have a link for the Ontario Seniors Dental Care Program um, through Rideau Community Health Services website. Um, so most of the time you just up, can apply right online. Um, and then if you do not qualify for that program, so if you are in the 18 and over um, program, then you would just call our dental program and the number is right on the Rideau Community Health Services website and we can help you um, apply for that. No, you guys have a great Facebook page too, because like this yes. is like we said, this is April. April is Oral Health Awareness Month. You, you you put all sorts of information on there, all sorts of tips, that sort of thing. It's yes. it's a great way. I, I understand you have a website as well. Yes, yes, yeah. No, it's a great way to reach people. Um, even just the general public, you know, if we have a patient that, you know, shares something, then maybe, you know, reaches out to 10 people like, oh yeah, I should start flossing. <laughs> now you're in the, the old high school building, right? Yes, yeah. Okay, I, I, I don't think you're from this area. You said Perth? Yes, Perth, yeah. All right, I, I think it's just amazing because I went to that building as, as a high school as well, too, and I just, when I, I, I look at what all the offices and where you are and everything, oh, it's yeah. like, my goodness, yeah. that was French class, that was, uh, you know, yeah. auto mechanics, that was the gym, that sort of thing. It's amazing yeah. what you guys have done to the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, I thank you very much for joining us today. Once again, how long have you been with uh, Rideau Community Health Services? Uh, so just over a year. Just over a year. Yes. And here yeah. they've got you doing media already. Good for yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for joining us here on well, FYI and, and talking a little bit more about April being Oral Health Awareness Month in Canada. It's, it's a Canadian thing too. So yes, thank you very yeah. much for representing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no problem. Well, thank uh, you so much for having me. Emma Hurley, you are one of the dental hygienists at the Rideau Community Health Services. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Thank you. Bye.